And I'll tell you a story. You are familiar with that story. Very, very familiar with it because I've told it before and you have read it in very forms. A group of friends went for a conference. We had your meeting. And uh, after the meeting, they were rushing to catch their train. Train, I go to my train, I get quick to you, get the neck of mine. I will go during the poo, 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 quancha, quantum, quancho, quantum, I will get Now, some of these trains now, the lent hen a haggish tail, a very one who go, me hoja got help of room, no gamar. And sometimes they, pa- they leave only twice in a day. So these people were rushing to catch their train. And in their race with their ties and their briefcases, they just came to the train station when the door was about to be closed and they jumped into the train. But in the process, there was a little child who had what he was selling near the train station. As they were rushing, one of them knocked down the tray of this child and he held over in that tray scattered everywhere and some of them were marched upon as they were rushing for their train. Before they entered the train, one of them stopped and watched the door close. And he shouted to them, tell my wife I will take the next available train. And he turned back to that child. Because it not matter what happened to the tree and the hoof, to know what happened to the content. And he saw all the apples she was selling. A little girl, all of that scattered on the ground and some of them destroyed. He bent down and picked them up and packed them well in the tree. And then for the ones that were destroyed, he opened his wallet and brought out some money and told the child, please, This one is for the ones we have destroyed. I hope we have not spoiled your day. That was the only time he noticed that this child was blind. And because she was blind, she didn't see them coming. Or she would have run away from them. As the man, the girl accepted the gift. And the man turned to go. The child said, excuse me, sir. Or turn, or sir. Are you Jesus? Because the child had heard the type of things Jesus could do. And as far as she was concerned, it was Jesus who visited her that day. Well, you'll be a lucky Catholic today. If you do something in your life today or in future that will make somebody say, Jesus has visited me today. And if the, a person would say, Are you Jesus? Well, Jesus is in you. He resides in you. And if you receive communion today, He will live in you and you in Him. You will be His hand, His legs, His mouth, His eyes. Whatever you tell your neighbor, that neighbor should experience it as Jesus intervening in his or her life. Love is the answer. Make love go viral. Whatever you do today, let somebody wonder, are you Jesus?